last year we got about 2,000 dogs and about 6,000 cats. I can't give you an exact number about that. I can tell you that we get about 9,000 animals every single year, over 9,000 animals. And a good percentage of those may have been abused, but because sometimes we don't know in the end whether or not someone was charged, because that's a one big police service thing, um, it's hard for us to give an exact number on that. But there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of animals that come in every year that are abused. they don't even know they're using an animal. Um, if you have maybe a senior citizen who isn't able to care for an animal properly and they don't really realize it, then that's another example of animal abuse. And there are a lot of different reasons why people do it. We have an open door policy. So if an animal needs help, we will take that animal in and we'll do whatever we can for it. And we have a full service clinic, so we're able to take care of them and treat them if they have any medical problems. We have foster homes that can come and take the animals, so families just like yours that take the animals and kind of socialize them and if they need med medicine or, or other kind of care, then we can put, put the animals into a foster home. So there's a lot of different things we can do. And if we get the word out there so that people know how to stop it by calling us so that we can go investigate it, then we can certainly try and reduce the number of reduced cases that we get.